United Kingdom and Russia are in a war of words over their carrier forces. It all started after a member of parliament described Russia Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier as dilapidated compared to the Royal Navy's new HMS Queen Elizabeth. Firing back, the Russians described the new carrier as a convenient target. This bet began when Sir Michael Fallon, the head of the UK's Ministry of Defence, wrote in London's Daily Telegraph. When you saw that old, dilapidated Kuznetsov sailing through the channel a few months ago, I think the Russians will look at this ship with a little bit of envy. Fallon was referring to Russia's sole aircraft carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. Moscow uses Kuznetsov to show the Russian flag abroad, sending it to Syria on multiple occasions and traveling up and down the European coastline, including a recent trip through the English Channel. Although intimidating-looking Kuznetsov is old and suffers from a variety of issues, including a breakdown in the Bay of Biscay and issuing huge pillars of billowing black smoke. In response, Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Igor Konashenkov called pointed out that the Russian aircraft carrier also has a complement of powerful granite anti-ship missiles. Kanashenkov warned the Royal Navy's new Queen Elizabeth carrier not to get within several hundred miles of its distant relative and that the new carrier was just a convenient large sea target. Unlike Queen Elizabeth, which will rely on its embarked 24F-35B joint strike fighters to provide offensive firepower. In addition to its 15 fighter and attack jets Kuznetsov packs 12 P-700 granite ramjet-powered anti-ship missiles beneath her decks. Each granite has a range of approximately 388 miles, can travel at a speeds of up to Mach 2.6, and carries either a 1,500-pound conventional high-explosive or 500-kiloton nuclear warhead. The British may be right, but it's not quite time to throw stones yet. Well HMS Queen Elizabeth is complete. She won't get her first F-35B fighter until 2018 and won't have a full complement of 24 Fleet Air Arm F-35Bs until 2023. In fact, before 2023 the majority of the fixed-wing airplanes on board QE could well be U.S. Marine Corps F-35Bs, under an agreement breached last year. Marine fighters will sail on the carrier's first operational deployment in 2021.